Hey there, I'm Parveen and welcome back to my channel Exploring Me. If you're tuning in for the first time or are perhaps less familiar, I am a data scientist by profession and I use this channel to explore different aspects of my life, both professionally and personally. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with me on a day in the life with me working from home. I've done one of these day in the life videos before, but I think this one is going to be a little bit or a lot different as I am obviously not commuting out to the office. So if you're interested in what my day in the life working from home looks like, follow along. So the first thing I do every morning is of course get ready. I'm definitely leveraging on this working from home situation to really indulge in athleisure, but I do get ready regardless because I think it really sets the tone for my day. The next thing that I do is right here behind me actually, I like to write down a top three things that I'd like to achieve during the workday on this calendar back here. I don't write it really neatly or nicely, anything like that. Just get down my thoughts right away so that I can have some good intentions going into the workday. One of the things that really helps me sort of feel motivated to start work in the morning is that my team has actually done this check-in right at 9 a.m. We don't necessarily talk about anything that we're working on specifically, but just checking in on how everyone is doing, if everyone has having issues with working from home, whether that be with their childcare or whatever they might have going on. I think it's a nice touch base and it kind of keeps me motivated to be ready to go sitting at my desk at 9 a.m. So I think that really helps kickstart my day, but I'm gonna be setting up for that now. I don't necessarily have the fanciest or what I would call the best setup going on right now, but I was fortunate enough before we left for work to be able to take my entire desktop setup from work, which has been really helpful to feel like I am really able to do the work that I need to do and have the resources I need in order to do it. But I don't have a webcam on my desktop, so I am using my laptop, which is resting on what is apparently a very dusty old shoebox to increase the height to check into meetings. So I think it's just about time to check into my 9 a.m morning check-in with my team. All right, so I just finished my morning check-in, which is always really nice to be able to check in with the team, figure out what their priorities for the day are, what they've been up to. Granted, it's not a lot outside of work because we are in quarantine right now, but it's still nice to know what everyone else is up to. It's also really nice to check in in the morning and feel like I am part of a team with other human beings and I'm not just working by myself. I find that to be a great motivator. So now I'm actually going to be getting into working. I've set out those three top priorities for the day. And the next thing I like to do is sort of block out, not really specifically, but in general, what I'm going to be doing in the morning, when I might be taking lunch, what tasks I need to complete in the afternoon. And if any of that needs to be communicated back to the team, I'll communicate that on my Outlook calendar. I don't always do this, but it's a nice to do so everyone can know where I am throughout the workday, but I'm going to be getting to that now. I don't know how much I'm going to film for my actual work part of the day, but I will try to check in as much as possible. So this morning I've been able to get through my emails, which is always really nice. Something I also try to do every morning is check the Slack channel for the Brain Station course that I'm teaching. I don't actually teach today, I teach on Monday and Wednesday evenings, but whenever I can, I do like to answer students' questions that might be shorter or just require an email link or something like that. So I'll try to do that in the mornings, which I've been able to get through. Anything that's longer I tend to leave for the evenings and anything I need to help them work through. but quick things I do try to get to in the morning. So I've gotten through emails and any correspondence I need to get to. Now I'm going to be working on some dashboard development, which I'm pretty excited about wrapping up. I'm not gonna be able to show the process of that, but that's what I'm gonna be working on next. I am checking in now a little bit before noon. I'm going to be having a bit of an early lunch today. For lunch, I'm just gonna be having a bowl of alu matter, which is basically just a glorified soup and some water. At least one of the positives of working from home has been I have definitely been drinking a lot more water, which is a good thing. And while I eat, I will probably just be catching up on some YouTube, so just gonna enjoy some lunch now. So now it actually is noon. I just finished eating lunch. Today I actually have something different. Our team has set up this online games hour at lunchtime. So we're all gonna be logging in remotely and playing some online games. Just a nice way to stay connected with everyone in the office while we are all away. So I'm gonna be logging on. I think we're playing a game called Drawful. I'll try to get a couple clips of it. 
So I'm just getting out of that meeting or lunchtime game session with the team. It's always nice in the afternoon to have a bit of change of pace. We played Quiplash and Drawful. It's kind of just silly games, but it's nice to be able to connect with the team when you've been isolated all day. It's really different from working in the office where we all sort of sit together. So it's nice to see everyone's face and have a little bit of fun together. In the afternoon, that's definitely when I find it hardest to concentrate. One of the good things about working from home has been being able to break out of that sort of nine to five block and taking extended breaks in the afternoon to come back to work in the evening and I think that's what I'm going to end up doing today. I'm probably going to go for a bit of a walk run out on some trails nearby my house so I'll try to capture some clips of that as I go do that now. I'm back in the car now. I think I was out there for about 45 minutes. The drive home is about five or 10 minutes, so I should be home pretty quickly. It's been really nice to be able to get outside and I'm fortunate to have a sort of walk or nature walk areas like this near where I live. Being able to get outside has been such a great refuge because I've found myself having a lot more headaches now that I've been inside and probably because I've been staring at screens so much but for the rest of the late afternoon evening I will be getting to some tasks at home so head in there now. Once I got back home the rest of the afternoon and early evening were not really noteworthy. I chipped away at the rest of my workload for the remainder of the workday. I acknowledge that I am very fortunate in these uncertain times to have a job that I'm able to continue to work at from a home safe environment, which I appreciate that not everyone has the luxury to do at this time. I hope this video was able to provide some insight or at least a small distraction as I shared this glimpse into a day in my life as a data scientist, especially in this new normal of working from home. I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing to this channel and I'll catch you next time.